Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 881. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, click on the link below the video. Actually, this uh, video is being shot on 3-11-2012. The download won't be available till tomorrow, 3-12. This video, we want to see how to do a, a look up a picture. Now, I've done this trick before. So has uh, Mr. Excel. Actually, we did it in the dual using VBA and the indirect function. But here we want to see how to use the index and match function. Now, the first thing is we have a little database, some names, prices, and pictures. And when you insert the picture, you want to make sure that it sits inside the uh, cell. So I'm going to insert a picture here, Alt N P to insert a picture. And I'm going to insert this deuce. Right, so I'm going to size it, bring it down here. All right, so it's sitting inside the walls there. Now I want to do data validation because I want to be able to select from a drop down and have the price in the picture show up. So Alt D L Tab L Tab, and then I'm going to highlight this range right here. Click OK. So when I select Bell and I want the price and the picture. I'm going to go ahead and not use uh, like a typical VLOOKUP. I'm going to use index and match. So I'm going to use index. Index has an array. That means what values do you want to return to the cell? I want to return these prices. I'm going to hit the F4 key. That's the array. That has the values I want to return to the cell. Row number, I'm going to use the match, because I'm going to say, hey, match function, look up this, and it will tell me which position, which will then tell me what number to deliver. Match. And I'm going to hit the F4 key, because we're, yeah, so F4 to lock them, because we're going to eventually copy this in the for the picture part, and we'll need it locked. Comma, the lookup array. Ah, oh, here's the array right here, F4. I want to do comma, and then I can't get this here, but match type is 0 because I want to look up the exact word. All right, so there's the row number. I don't need column number. All right, so it's looking up 26. Control Shift 4 to apply currency number format. Now I want to highlight this in edit mode, copy, and then uh, paste it here. The only difference for looking up the picture is I need C, so I'm going to change this to C. Zero. Well, you can't have the uh, function in the cell. We're going to need to put a picture here, like a, a temporary picture, and then do a few other tricks. So I'm going to copy this. Control C, I just have it there. I'm just going to copy one of these pictures over. Let me copy this one. Control C. Now, I want to. Uh, use the define name and I've copied that formula underneath which by the way I'm going to put my cursor here click there and delete that formula because I already have it copied and I want to put it into define name and then put that define name inside the picture control F3 is the keyboard shortcut for name manager control F3 looks like I already did one on this other page over here but no problem new I'm going to call it uh, Boom Picture. So Boom Picture. I'm going to highlight, delete, Control V. Oh, so I, I guess I lost it. No problem. I'm going to copy this one, Escape, Control F3, New, Boom Pick. I'm going to come down here. Delete, Control V, maybe expand it a little bit. OK, so that's looking good, except for I need to change it to C. Click OK. Click Close. Now I'm going to come up here, click the picture, and come up to the formula bar and say equals boom pick. And there I have my lookup using uh, looking up a picture using uh, the indirect and match. So I can come over here and Carlota, Deuce. And there you have it. All right, we'll see you next trick.